Hey everyone, welcome to the first ever, will someone explain to me? Basically, I'm just doing a fun little Q&A with my friends, bringing in experts to help me figure out the questions, the answers of, of the questions of the day, of the topic of the day, etc. When in quarantine, we get bored and I'm just trying to stay creative. Uh, my first guest ever is the one, the only, Carmela Zumbado. Me. Of course, thanks for jumping on. Uh, if you guys don't know who she is, she might look familiar because she was on You Season 2, aka Delilah. But also, fun fact that you guys may not know about her is that she's actually a Miami Dolphins fan. Mm hmm hardcore. Yesterday was a big day. It was the passing of legendary Don Shula, which, you know, has been like the patriarch of this franchise. He was 90 years old. Tell me, like, how did that feel waking up to that news as, as a ride or die fan? Well, the first thing I did was text my dad and find out if he heard because my dad is the source of everything me and my sisters know about the Dolphins. And so Don Shula has always just been a huge staple, not just in the Dolphins franchise, but in the whole South Florida community. He is the coach that coached us through our undefeated season. And as you know, Janelle, I know you know, we are the only team in the entire league to have ever had a perfect, completely undefeated season. And that's all thanks to Don Shula. So he gave us the thing that I feel like we can be most proud of uh, in calling ourselves Dolphin fans for sure. And what's cool about him is that he's just always been so important. He's gone to open up Shula restaurants down in South Florida, like in the Keys, at the airport, there's like so many Shula burger restaurants. He's just, he's bigger than football. He's just a huge part of what makes South Florida one of the best places ever. And it was, a, it's, you know, it's a, it's a really tragic passing, but at least he lived a long, beautiful life and just completely molded what the Miami Dolphins are. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he got to live to at least 90 years old, and he's still holding that record, winning 347 games, including playoffs. So I know Bill Belichick is right there. He's very close, but still hasn't quite beat that record. Spent 26 seasons with Miami. Belichick actually did a release, a statement, saying like he was one of the all-time great coaching figures and the standard of consistency. So my question to you is, who do you think now will take or fill in that shoe? Do you think it'd be like Dan Marino? Who's going to be like our male patriarch figure for the Dolphins? Or are we well, going to see? I feel like it's definitely got to be Marino. He can, he can, you know, fill those shoes. Obviously not in a coach standpoint, but he is definitely a figure that represents Miami Dolphins um, so beautifully, just like Don Shula did. And obviously they work together, and so they come from that same era our golden era, you know, and... The one that we school. haven't gone to, that's the only, our only bragging rights. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shula, for our only bragging rights. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, moving on to the present day, you know, our coach now is Brian Flores. We had our first ever virtual NFL draft, which I know that you were cheersing on and watching via quarantine from your home. What do you think? Do you think he made the right move by picking Tua? Uh, to be our, our quarterback. I still haven't gotten his, his last name down yet. <laughs> it will be Baliola, but I'm going to get it. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think he's a huge source of optimism for us right now. I think he's what we've waited for for this whole year, and everything we've been through only led up to this point of being able to bring him on, so I'm super excited for that. I know everybody's all concerned about his whole injury situation, so we'll see – how that plays into things. I'm really curious to see how um, Flores will start off with him, but hopefully we can protect him. Hopefully he's, you know, he's doing whatever he needs to do right now to do preventive stuff for injury. I don't, I don't even know how that whole side of things works, but I think it was the right move. And I think we're really lucky to have him. Yeah, I agree. I feel like every Dolphins fan would have drawn the line and given up if we did not select a quarterback like Tua and yeah that's the, the main concern because he has that dislocated hip and he's only what 21 22 years old and to have an injury like that is scary but yeah. he's like our, our our faith like you said and we still have Fitzpatrick there worst case scenario do you think though considering that he has that injury do you think he should start in the season or should we still rest him up until he's officially better no nah, I think we should take the risk and start with him I think we need to start off strong um, obviously, I don't know the logistics of stuff like that, but if we're going to make a move as bold as bringing him on, I think, yeah, I think it's go big or go home. 
All right, and my last question. Can someone explain to me why you should be a Dolphins fan? <laughs> because we're the best. And as we said before, our pride and joy. There's no other league that's done what we've done and done an entire season without ever being defeated. I don't care if it was in the 70s. <laughs> and we also just got the swag. We've got the beautiful weather in South Florida. Going to watch a game is just one of the best experiences you can have in Miami. And I saw that they're going to be reopening the stadium completely differently now, whereas before we're probably going to only be able to hold a really small percentage of fans and there's going to be measures taking place for social distancing where you enter the stadium and exit the stadium in groups. And I think the rows are going to be released like one at a time. So there's going to be a lot of huge changes and stuff to football now coming up. But we're just the best team ever. So we're accepting bandwagon fans. Anybody that needs an NFL team, anybody who if wants to application, NFL, contact Carmella. Send it in. Come on down. Be a part of the family. We'll take what we can get. Bandwagons or OGs. It's a family. It is a family. Well, Carm, thank you so much. I'm glad that you're staying safe and healthy during this madness of COVID-19 in L.A. I'm in Miami, so I miss you down here. But thank you so much again. You guys can follow her at Carmela Zumbado. Thanks for having me. It was so much fun to talk sports. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, happy Cinco the Drinkle, y'all. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.